Look at this beautiful Husky 350 FC. Hey, what's up guys? Rather here we do it in iron. Well, this right here is a used uh, Husky 350 FC that Jay Clark from Dirt Bike TV bought about two months ago. And actually, uh, I met him a couple days after he bought this bike and we rode it together at Kawiak and uh, the bike felt really great. I had a good time. I'm gonna uh, put some pictures here uh, from the ride. But after that, uh, Jay wanted to make it a little bit better as he usually does with his bikes. So uh, he went through this bike and uh, this is the result. I think uh, you will agree with me if I say that it looks really amazing. I'm really digging this uh, white plastics from UFO with Decal MX. I think they did the incredible graphics here. I, I like this black, white and gray combination. It's nothing flashy, but it really comes together nicely. And then this seat cover from Moto Seat just, just uh, you know, sits on the top and it, it really looks uh, complete. So I, I love how this bike came uh, came out after after Jay did everything. So when I came to pick it up from his place, from Jay's place, I was really stoked how this thing looks. All right, so that's for the look. And also we have some uh, some nice protection from P3. We got a SCAR titanium foot packs uh, and uh, Dunlop tires, of course, uh, faster USA did a nice looking wheels, uh, XL rims, and this bike just looks really incredible. Now, as you guys probably know, 350 engine is, uh, is plenty fast for average guy like myself and many other guys on the track. So we didn't really have to do much to this engine. Nothing uh, in, inside the engine was changed. There's a stock 350. But Jamie from Twisted uh, mapped Vortex Ignition to match this incredible engine. And also we're running FMF systems on this bike. Uh, breathe really good and uh, sounds pretty nice too. Now, the biggest thing, uh, what I think I'm gonna feel the difference because I didn't ride the bike uh, yet in, in this form. The biggest uh, change on the bike is definitely the suspension. The stag wasn't bad, but Jay had this uh, Cornwall suspension uh, laying in his shop. So he put it on this bike, uh, Racetech did set up uh, for the suspension, went through everything uh, and uh, man, I already, I already think that uh, this bike will feel incredible. Even I'm gonna try to overshoot some of my uh, landings and to land flat on, on my track and I'm expecting a lot from this suspension. I've ridden other bikes with Cornwall suspension and it's really a big difference. This is a A-kit suspension so it should give us a really good feel uh, for the bike and uh, I cannot wait to ride it. All right, so as I said, uh, we're gonna jump on my track because uh, uh, the, the tracks around me are closed because of all the coronavirus thing going on but my uh, backyard track is open so let's go there and see you a little later. A little bit sand. Alright guys, so I have a couple doubles here in one table, so let me try to overshoot every single jump and land flat and see how this cone valve behaves. That was pretty smooth. So as you saw, I jumped this double and I went uh, too long and I think I landed somewhere right here. 
maybe 40 feet, 50 feet, landed right on the flat and man, this suspension <laughs> sucked it right up. It feels really good. All right guys, so we just back from the riding and I gotta tell you, uh, I, had a, I had a good time, man. You can probably hear that because I have the microphone in my helmet, this new setup from GoPro. And you can hear what I say and you can probably hear me breathing and all that kind of uh, thing. But uh, hey, uh, I had a good time and this bike, uh, it's amazing. It's really everything you need uh, on the track. Like you have to be a really, really good fast guy or you want to be pulling a whole shots when you race if you need 450. <coughs> Personally, I don't think I would ever be in a position where I feel that I need to have 450. 350 stock, uh, just with a little bit of uh, Vortex ignition and FMF, but it's stock engine, 350. It is an amazing package. It has uh, plenty of power for uh, everything you need to do on the main track, everything you need to do on the wet track, everything you need to do on the desert if you go riding some dunes. This bike, I think, can do everything you throw on it. And it feels good, it's light, it feels good in the turns. Uh, it has amazing uh, Brembo brakes uh, that feel really good. So these uh, KTMs and Husky 350s, uh, 2017 and up, uh, these models, they feel really good. Jay picked this one up for, for 5,000 and offer up. Uh, this is 17 for 5,000 and then he put a little bit of uh, Souls, the J Souls on it, a little bit of laugh, and uh, you see what uh, this bike came up really great. So if you give it a little laugh, you can get this little bit older bike. Not you don't have to get 2020. You can get a little bit older model and and really get yourself a good bike for many years to come that you can ride on the track. Uh, personally, I see myself uh, riding this bike. Uh, if, uh, if I feel a little bit better, I will switch from 250 into 350, and I think I will stay on 350 for for my F MX riding. So for this bike, uh, the biggest thing that uh, I noticed and I really love is definitely the suspension. The cone valve uh, feels amazing and uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, most of the crashes that I have on the, on the track and uh, they are becoming uh, f fewer and fewer, thank God. But uh, usually how I crash is uh, if I land, uh, if I case the jump or I land, uh, you know, flat if I'm too long, uh, then uh, it's kind of hard to uh, to handle the bike after the hard uh, landing if I bottom out the suspension and sometimes it throws me off the bike, especially when I case. So with this cone valve, uh, yeah, I know it's very expensive, but if you want to get serious and if you have extra bike, you can invest into it or at least uh, do a good uh, suspension setup for your weight and your skill with a stock suspension to avoid those kind of uh, crashes. If you have suspension that can handle it, it's a really a game changer. It, it's really something that, that uh, you're gonna love. So this cone valve uh, did great. I was uh, flying a little bit, you know, beyond my landing points, uh, what I have on my track, and it soaked everything up. I land on the, uh, on the flat and it didn't, feel, uh, it didn't feel like I'm out of control. It really felt great. So this uh, <laughs> is really a good package, man. Uh, I need 350 guys. I really need 350. This this feels like uh, really everything I need. It's not too much power. I can re really go on the throttle and I can use, uh, I'm not sure I'm using 100%, but I can use quite a bit and uh, I'm enjoying a lot of it. It's uh, it's not a spooky bike, uh, but it's pretty fast. So I had a good time. You guys, uh, let me know below in the comments uh, how you like this build, how you like this review, and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.